Hi board, this is David Wilcox. I wanted to give you a run through of the new application I built for handling stewardship. So before this year, what we had was three T cards. Uh, Cindy would enter the three T cards for any given year into a spreadsheet and then the stewardship chair would get that spreadsheet and would have to deduplicate the names themselves, find out who ple who's pledged this year but hasn't but hasn't before and who has not pledged this year that should be pledging and things like that and it was a lot of work. The stewardship chair would also be forced to send uh, reminder emails, do a lot of reminder calls. It was a lot of effort to create the list to even know who to call or who to send emails to. It took quite a bit of work to create that list for me and I know it took quite a bit of work for prior stewardship chairs to create that list as well and they also had to follow up with these people to try to get them to pledge again year after year and that took a lot of work as well. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to simplify a lot of that process uh, and I did that by creating this web application where all of the uh, information resides. It resides in a Google Sheets form that we have on our um, svus.org Google account right here. Uh, this is a test, some test data that I was using for it, so this is not the live data at all. I just was putting some test data in. Um, so here's what the workflow is going to look like. A member is going to fill out a 3T card. This could either be done in person or can be done on the website. Uh, we still have the 3T card, the hard copy. I revamped it this year a little bit. But if somebody fills in a 3T card in person, Cindy will take that information and then put it into the website for them so they don't need to deal with the website if they don't want to. Um, I have a list of committees on the talents and time sections. Any committees that somebody checks or signals interest in, then that committee will be emailed and notified that somebody's interested in helping out with their committee. Uh, the board and the minister will be emailed to create a thank you note for the person that just submitted a 3T card. And the treasurer is emailed to create an ACH uh, if necessary. I don't collect the ACH information, but I do email the treasurer that somebody wants to set up ACH so that he can go collect the, the ACH information and do it himself. Um, so let me just run through how this works. So this is what, let me see. So this is, this is the, the Google form, how I can edit it. So if you ever wanted to edit the Google form, this is what it looks like to edit it. So you can edit any of these sections that you want. You can add a new question that you want to. You can put images in there. Let's um, come over here to the test form and fill out a test entry. Yeah, here's the test entry. So I'm going to say my email is David Luke Wilcox. And let's say that I'm actually done. I've moved away and I don't want to be doing uh, I don't want to I don't want to pledge anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say next Submit and what this is going to do is it's going to take me off of the list. So I it adds an Entry right here to this form responses. So it adds an entry to form responses But it takes the entry off of the list over here that says who has been donating or who has donated so we, we don't think that this person's a uh, somebody we should be contacting anymore. So let's go back and actually put a good donation in. So here's my email. Next. For the numbers, David and Aaron Wilcox, 801 uh, 449 This can, is a lot, yeah. And then I fill in some committees I'm interested in participating in. I fill in some talents that I'm good at. 
and then I put in my pledge that I want to do. Let's say I'm interested in ACH. And here, I'm not already set up for ACH. I hit submit. Okay, so a few things are going to happen. So the first thing that's gonna happen is we've got a new response right here on the bottom. This is the new uh, thing I just put in. That's the new row. It added this one right here that said, I have a 2018 donation that I created. It's, that's because we're in 2018 right now. Once we hit 2019, I'll start putting it into this 2019 column. Um, but also what happens is we take the uh, committees that they're interested in and then we join it with this spreadsheet. These are emails for all the different committees. Right now it's just me for every single one. And here are emails for talents and then it emails each of those people. So let's go to my email and we can see, we should be able to see a bunch of emails coming in. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, here they are. So I've got a bunch of emails for all these committees. These are committees for, these are emails for the different committees. This is an email because I said I was interested in doing ACH. Here are some other committee emails, and then this is one for the board. So, yeah, okay, so we send out emails for the committees. We send an email for ACH to the treasurer. We send an email to the board that new pledges come in. And I keep, so yeah, uh, I keep the raw number right here in this deduplicated response, but it's also in this raw response right here. Here's the raw number as well. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. So I wanted to show you guys this as well. So sometimes what happens is uh, we send out a couple emails, but people still don't pledge and we have to go hunt these people down. And it works really well if we can send a personalized reminder email to these people. So let me show you guys that. So yeah, okay. So we're gonna come over here to the script. I'll send out a personalized reminder email right now. So the reminder email text is just right here. I can change it as much as I want. So if you guys want me to change the template, I certainly can. Right now it's kind of a just a template that I thought of in, in the spur of the moment. It doesn't really matter. But at any rate, so the, the template right now says, hi, we're still a little bit behind. I'm going through our records and show that you haven't pledged yet. Uh, I have your last year pledge at X dollars, if you can notice, if you could tell us what you're capable of, then that'd be great. Go here to fill out a pledge sheet. Okay, so let's send out the reminder emails. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna go through the deduplicated responses and it's gonna send a reminder email to everybody in this deduplicated responses list so that pledged in 2018, but not in 2019. So it's gonna come through here, it's gonna check, oh, does this person have a 2018 value but not 2019 value? If, if yes, it sends them an email and says, would you, uh, it, and, set, and sends that template. So let's come over here and run the send reminder emails function. Okay, oh, and here they are. I got two emails because I think I was in there twice. I got another one or something. Cool. Yeah, right there. So this is what the email looks like that people would get. Now, like I said, I can change the template. The wording is not final whatsoever. Uh, this is just a template that I had right now. Uh, but as you can see, it's a personalized email with their name, with them and the two. It has their pledge amount so they can know what they pledged last year in case that changes what they feel like and it has the link where they can go to fill out the pledge so yeah uh, oh yeah and then I, I can also fill out we can also do reminder texts so let me show you how that works so that works very very similarly except I use this phone number as the text message and to show you guys that 
I actually have a Google Voice account, and this phone number is hooked up to this Google Voice account. And I can show you guys a text coming through now. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna say send reminder text messages. We're gonna click run that. And this is the phone number that it's gonna be sending from. Okay, so it just finished. And here's the text message, cool. So that's the text message that, uh, that just got sent. Uh, just so that you're aware, uh, it char I get charged about half a penny per text that I send. Uh, I think it's well worth it, but just so that you're aware, the texts are a little expensive. I, uh, I can send 1,500 emails per day for free through our Google apps that we have with the church, but the texts cost a little bit. They cost about half a penny to send, so I, bet I would do emails first and then texts. Here's the template for the texts right here. Here's the, here's the text message. So we can also change this to whatever we want. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's great. Um, so yeah, we I can send reminder emails. I can send reminder texts. Uh, we can send personalized reminder emails and personalized reminder texts. Oh yeah, and then every day I also log aggregate metrics. I put it into this spreadsheet. So every day I create a new entry into this spreadsheet, whoops, and I log different things. And if you guys want me to log something new, I can certainly do that. The things I'm logging right now are like the median pledge amount, the average mean pledge amount, the total amount that has been pledged so far, and the number of pledgers. Uh, one question that I get, I got a lot last year was, where are we in our pledge drive? Are we on track? And what I want to be able to do to show that eventually is have a graph. And what the graph shows is total pledge amount last year. So you have total pledge amount last year. Let's say it looks like that. And then this year, I want to have another line let's say it looks like that, then we can say, oh, wow, we're ahead. We are ahead of where we were last year. Or it could be below, we could say, oh, we're behind, we need to put more effort, where things are not going very well. So I want to be able to, sh to say, where are we now versus where were we before? And I like also being, being able to show some other metrics, not just total pledge amount. I want to be able to focus on number of pledgers and also the average pledge amount so that we can work on getting people to pledge a little bit more year over year over year and getting more and more people to pledge. And I want to be able to track these two things independently, the pledge amounts versus number of pledgers. I think those are two very interesting things so that we can see if all the pledges are coming from the top or if we're getting more and more people or like how that whole interaction works out. I think that that would be very useful and interesting to see. Uh, so this is where all the aggregate information is going to be. This link is public to anybody that has the link. Anybody can see this data that's right here. I'm gonna be creating some graphs on this spreadsheet so that it's a, it's easy to see uh, the current status and current progress. I'm not exactly sure what those graphs look like right now. I'll have to think about that a little more, but I haven't created those graphs yet. I, I'm going to uh, and I definitely want to create some different graphs next year. I can't create those nice trended graphs like I was talking about this year because I don't have the data from last year to do that. Uh, I, I don't have the data that tells me when somebody pledged last year right now. So uh, next year I'll be able to create that nice trended graph, but I can't do that. I can't do that right now. Um, so I'll have to create some nice graphs that kind of shows us our progress right now. I think what I'm gonna do is create a bar chart that says here's where we were last year, here's our goal, and here's where we are now. And that way we can kind of track progress. And maybe I'll also create another line graph that shows us our progress over time this year so we can see where we're trending to. Uh, but yeah, this will be the page where you can see the progress of the pledge drive. Is there anything else I wanted to go through? I don't think so. Well, let me know if you have any other questions or if you have any concerns with this. Uh, I would love it if you guys 
want to go through the wording on the pledge form like this. If you want to give my application a oral, you can feel free. I'll make sure to give you the, the link to this uh, test form in the email and you can play around with it as much as you want. You can put whatever input in here you want to put in. It doesn't matter. It's not going to count toward the pledge at all, but this is just what I'm using to play around with. Um, so yeah, feel free to read through this. I'd love some critiquing on your on the wording or on anything else you can think about. Thanks for your indulgence. Have a nice time.